So I'm sitting in the sun, just finished my workout and in case you did not see the previous video I made concerning this very topic I'm about to talk about now. Um, make a talk I'm again, make it not be like say you could talk so you know been see that other video. See if you're from Africa, living in the West, living in Europe or in North America or anywhere outside of Africa. If you're from the equator, from the equatorial part of Africa, you know, where they label sub-Saharan Africa these days, eh? you need to be taking your ass back home at least once a year. If you can afford it twice a year, if you don't have much to do in the West three times a year. Now, let me tell you why. The sun that heats in Africa heats way different. The UVB lights from the sun in Africa, in the equatorial uh, part of Africa is way different from the UV, UVB lights we receive here in Europe or in the Americas. So um, when you start having depression, anxiety, and you start developing sicknesses, your doctors or the doctors in your in your designated countries can seem to figure out where what causes them, you should um, think of taking your ass back home. You need the sun. You are beginning to be deficient in vitamin D. Yeah. And if you don't specifically ask them to test you for vitamin D, they're not going to tell you. Them. You're not going to know that you're deficient in vitamin D. You have to ask them to test you for vitamin D. If not, you're not going to know. So. If you're having depression and mood swings, anxiety and high blood pressure, diabetics, and but you've been living well, take your behind back home for at least twice a year or once a year if you can avoid it. Go home and when you get home, this is where it gets tricky. When you get home, don't be driven around in air-conditioned vehicles. Don't be sleeping in air-conditioned uh, hotel rooms. Try to mingle with the natives. Yeah, try to mingle with the natives. Try to because your DNA, you were designed. Your DNA is designed for such environments. Your DNA is designed to be in that environment. Don't be going home and be living as if you're still in the West. No. <laughs> Bingo with the natives, eat native foods, eat native foods, drink from where the natives are drinking from, drink, pour, drink whole water, drink stream water. Believe me, it's going to maybe cause diarrhea the first two, three days, but your body was, that is definitely going to like adjust to it. Don't be going there and be sitting in air conditioned huge SUVs, be sleeping in expensive hotel rooms. No, 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 no. Allow mosquitoes in your country of origin to bite you. Allow bugs to bite you. You need them. You, you need the germs. Believe me, your gut bacteria have been missing those germs. Trust me. I'm writing a book titled Chicken to Berries. I will explain all these things in details in that book when it comes out. And um, I will strongly advise you get it. You can get it. You will get it on darkyday.com. It will be on my website. It will be out. You know, when the book is out, I will let you know. So stay around. <laughs> you need vitamin D. You may be having problems. You don't seem to understand where your problems are coming from. Mood swings anxieties, depression, you're just sad for no reason, <laughs> your vitamin D levels is down. It's not only vitamin D. Our cells eat the sun. Our cells eat the sun. We have about 150 trillion cells in us, we African, we black people. The melanin, the carbon in us eats the sun. 
I, I don't know how your cholesterol yeah mm, let me not say I don't know how your cholesterol convert to the sun UVB lights into vitamin D3 I know that but that is not why I'm making this video I'm not gonna explain all that to you um it, it's not only about vitamin D so many things your skin needs the sun your hair needs the sun your cells needs the sun the sun in the one that heats in africa see if you observe if you look up here up here in the sky there you will see blue sky here in your where i'm sitting it's you know you see blue sky wait let me turn the camera when did you last see blue sky in africa if you're from nigeria when were you there how many times were you don't see blue sky our sky they always they cloudy happy <laughs> so the sun that heats us in Africa is way different, heats us way different. It's not only about vitamin D. Our skin, the, our very existence in Africa is dependent on the sun. We depend on the sun to survive for survival in Africa. Our cells, our hair, our everything, the way we behave is controlled by the sun. Our circadian rhythm in Africa is controlled by the sun. We wake up, by, we wake with the sun, we go to sleep with the sun. So once in a while, take your behind, put yourself on a fucking airplane. Tickets are not expensive. Put your eyes on an airplane and fly home. There are so many things you're going through. Me where you know no saying a lack of sunlight, better sunlight now they make you they go through those things. Believe me, take it from <laughs> I'm working on my book. Like I don't talk about when the book comes out I will explain everything in detail so that you know say when you come here, the food where you they eat here, the sun know they heat them well. The food which you consume in Africa is being cooked by the sun. So, sitting outside in the sun in Europe isn't going to cut it. Believe me, isn't going to cut it. Taking vitamin D supplements isn't going to cut it. You need to take your body back to your home country. And spend like three weeks in your home country. And when you get there, behave, do like the Romans, do like the people in your home country, do like them. Don't be going there, go to do Shakara. A word is enough for the wise. Stick around. I'm Henry Krakhouse. Love you all. And I'm out.